Good morning and Assalamu alaikum class. Welcome back to our online classes. The day today is Friday, 11th December 2020. Your subject is English Literature, Textbook Read Now and Topic The Miser's Donkey. It is on page number 101, exercise number 1, word meaning we will do today. Okay, so open your notebooks now. So how you will maintain the page? First of all, you're going to uh, write classwork. And after that date, which is Friday, 11th December 2020, your topic, the miser's donkey. Exercise number one, write the meanings. So number one word is inherited. What is the meaning of inherited? Receive money or property after the death of previous holder. If someone died and someone get the money or property of that person, it is inherited to that person. Usually, it happens after the death of uh, someone's parents or grandparents. Second is pastries. I already told you during our reading that pastry is money or currency. I'm going to show you the picture of pastry as well. Look at this picture. It is a picture of pastry. As you can see, it is used in France or Egypt. Okay, so now you know that how it looks like. We will move to the next word. Okay, the next word is whale. So what is whale? A thin fabric to cover or hide face. A thin fabric to cover or hide face. Mostly Muslim uh, women carry veil. Okay, I'm going to show you the picture of veil as well. Okay, now look at this. It is a picture of veil. You know that mostly women carry this to cover their face. Now move to the next one. So, beta, next word is dwelling. What is the next word? Dwelling. So, what is dwelling? A place for residence. A place for residence is called dwelling. I'm going to show you the picture of dwelling as well. Now look at this. It is a picture of dwelling. Okay. The, a place of residence where usually people live. Now move to the next one. The next word is pale. What is the next word? Pale. What is a pale? A pale is a bucket or it may be of plastic, wood or any metal. Okay. Now look at the picture of pail. It is a picture of pail or a bucket. You already know the meaning of pail or bucket. Now move to the next word. Next word is number six, crust. Crust is the tough part of the bread. The tough outer part of the bread. Now the picture of the crust. Many of you already aware of crust. So now look at the picture of crust. This is called crust of bread. Okay. Now next word. Gleam. Number seven word is gleam. What is the meaning of gleam? I already told you during our reading. Shine brightly. What is the meaning of gleam? Shine brightly. Number eight. Wretched. What is the meaning of wretched? Unhappy. Scraps. Fragments. Scraps means fragments or it may be of anything. Now look at the picture of scrap. As you can see in the picture, it is a scrap of wood. Okay, fragments or pieces of wood is called scrap. Okay, next word is stroked. What is the meaning of stroked? Stroked means patted or pat. Stroked means pat. Number 11 word is hovel. So what is hovel? A simply constructed house or room. A simply con constructed house or room. Now I am going to show you the picture of hovel. Look at this. It is a picture of a hovel. So with a, you can see it is simply constructed. Building or room house is called hovel. So now you, what you will do, you will write this word meaning on your English grammar, English literature notebook. Okay, and share with me your pictures or images of your work. This is the end of our lecture. Take care, love. Good morning in Islam Alaikum class. The day today is Monday, 14th December 2020. Our subject is English Literature. Our textbook is Read Now. And our topic is The Miser's Donkey. We have done reading and words meaning of this chapter. Now we have to uh, do exercise number two, which is sentences. Okay, so let's start. First of all, 
you will write the uh, topic and after that exercise which is make sentences and how you will prepare the page first you will draw uh, you have already have a line you will write serial number over there one two three four you know the serial number after that you will draw or make two columns okay so number one word is respectable you will write words and after that sentence how you will make sentence respectable is a person who deserve respect okay so I have made a sentence here my father is a respectable man I only made one for you so you can take help from here and you have to make rest of the sentences by yourself I am gonna explain only meaning of these words so second word is journey what is the second word journey journey obviously you know traveling from one place to another is called journey third word is disappointed what is the word disappointed so what is the meaning of disappointed sadness or upset what is the meaning of disappointed sadness or upset next word is empty empty not filled or vacant next word number five creature creature means living thing or living being it may be an animal, human beings, etc. Next word is offered. What is the meaning of offered? Offered means it may be a proposal. It may be to present something. Okay. I offered him a meal. For example, I am giving you just example. Don't write this sentence. You have to make them by yourself. Distant. What is the meaning of distant? Far off far off okay furniture accessories we are using on daily basis at our homes for example bed chair it can be a cupboard it may be a single bed it may be a table these are uh, furnitures okay purpose what is the meaning of purpose purpose means target aim goal is called purpose sleepless you know the meaning of sleepless when you can't sleep it is sleepless the last word is arrange what is the meaning of arrange to set up what is the meaning of arrange to set up okay so these are the word sentences you have to make these sentences by yourselves and kindly don't take help from google classrooms if you have any kind of difficulty you can contact me on my whatsapp number or you can take help from your elders okay so please don't make sentences from google okay these are not suitable for you Hopefully, it will be easy for you to do it because you are making sentences from class 3 by yourselves. So, this is the end of our lecture. Take care and have this.